Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to this video series on the CompTIA Security Plus course, Hardening File Systems and Hard Drives. First, the file system used dictates a certain level of security. On Microsoft computers, the best option is to use NTFS, which is more secure, enables logging, also important supports encryption, and has support for a much larger maximum partition size and larger file sizes. Just about the only place where FAT32 and NTFS are on a level playing field is that they support the same amount of file formats. So by far NTFS is the best option. If a volume uses FAT or FAT32, it can be converted to NTFS using the following command. Convert volume forward slash FS ntfs for example if i want to convert a usb flash drive named m to ntfs the syntax will be convert m colon forward slash fs colon ntfs there are additional options for the convert command to see these simply type convert forward slash question mark in the command prompt ntfs enables for file system security and tracks permissions within access control lists ACLs which are, a which are a necessity in today's environments. Most systems today already use NTFS but you never know about flash based and other removable media. A quick chkdsk command in the command prompt or right clicking on the drive in the GUI and selected properties can tell you what type of file system it runs. Generally the best file system for Linux is ext4. It allows for the best and most configurable security. To find out the file system used by your version of Linux use the fdisk1 command or df-t command. System files and folders by default are hidden from view to protect a Windows system but you never know to permanently configure the system to not show hidden files and folders navigate to the file explorer or folder options dialog box then select the view tab and under hidden files and folders select don't show hidden files folders or drives radio button to configure the system to hide protected system files select the hide Protected Operating System Files checkbox located below the radio button previously mentioned. This disables the ability to view such files and folders as Boot Manager and PageFile.SYS. You might also need to secure a system by turning off file sharing within, with, which is sorry, which in most versions of Windows can be done within the network. And sharing center in the past I have made a bold statement hard disks will fail but it's not all true it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when by maintaining and hardening the hard disks with various hard disk utilities we attempt to stave off the dark day as long as possible you can implement server several strategies when maintaining a hard disk remove temporary files temporary files and older files can clog up the hard disk cause a decrease in performance and pose a security threat it is recommended that disk clean up or a similar program can be used policies can be configured or written to run disk clean up every day or at log off for all computers on the network periodically check file systems every once in a while it's a good idea to verify the integrity of operating system files a file integrity check can be done in the following ways um okay with chk dsk command in windows this examines the disk and provides a report. It can also fix some errors within the minus F option. With the SFC system file checker command in Windows, this utility checks and if necessary, replaces protected system files. It can be used to fix problems in the OS and in other applications such as Internet Explorer. A typical command you might find in SFC Force a scan now. Use this CHK DSK is not successful at making repairs. With the FS 
CK command in Linux. This command is used to check and repair a Linux file system. The synopsis of the syntax is FSK S A V R T and P minus C F T minus T F T sorry F S T Y P file sys fs specific options more information about this command can be found at the corresponding man page for fssk a derivative e2 fsck is used to check a linux ext2 fs second extended file system also open source data integrity tools can be downloaded for linux such as tripwire defragment drives applications files and other hard drives become fragmented over time for a server this could be a disaster because the server cannot serve requests in a timely fashion if the drive is too thoroughly fragmented defragmenting the drive can be done with microsoft's disk defragmenter with command line defrag command or with third party utilities backup data backing up data is critical for a company it is not enough to rely on fault tolerant array individual files or the entire system can be backed up to another set of hard drives to optical disks to tape or to the cloud microsoft domain controllers active directory databases are particularly susceptible to attack the system state for these operating systems should be backed up in case that the server fails and the Active Directory needs to be recovered in the future. Um, use restoration techniques. Um, in Windows, restore points should be created on a regular basis for servers and workstations. The system, utili the system restore utility or STRUI.exe can fix issues caused by defective hardware or software by reverting back to an earlier time. Registry changes made by hardware or software are reversed in an attempt to force the computer to work the way it did previously. Restore points can be created manually and also created automatically by the OS before new applications, service packs or hardware are installed. Mac OS and OS X use the Time Machine utility which works in a similar manner in a similar manner uh, though there is no similar tool in linux a user can back up the home directory to a separate partition when these contents are decompressed to a new install most of the linux system most of the linux system and settings will be restored another option in general is to use imaging cloning software remember that these techniques do not necessarily back up data and that the data should be treated as a separate entity that needs to be backed up regularly consider whole disk encryption finally whole disk encryption can be used to secure the contents of the drive making it harder for attackers to obtain and interpret its contents so i'm going to leave it here today for this video if you like listening please consider like sharing and subscribing thank you